and I have this whole book of like doing some of the natural dye projects too that I've been oh that hold I've that book up let's see yeah and so I have this book of all of the swatches that I that I've made over the years so this for example is a page of just marigold and on each page I have like the just the kind of straight marigold um and then I have it with combined with other things so in a natural dye process when you combine it with things like um like metals or acids so like things like almost like lime juice even that changes the color and I think it's it's sort of like gouache almost it's like the most something that's the most true to color as we experience it in the world or in nature like that's always the colors that I feel like catch my eye the most and I feel like for most people it's like really good food it's like when I, it's like what um I forget her name the woman that was just talking she was saying how Haley. Food is. Haley was saying that food like so much of our food has lost so much nutrition and it's like when you get a carrot from the farmer's market and you're like this is the best carrot I've ever had in the world because it's like it's the most carroty carrot. It's not yeah. because it, it's like the most carroty carrot I've ever had. Or, um, it's so dense with flavor. So I think about that with like color, trying to get color that's, yeah, a color that is the most like that color, a color like cadmium yellow. That's the most cadmium yellow. And so that's something that's cool with natural dyes is that like this is a color, like these colors we love them because they are, because it's marigold, because it's something we see in the world. Um, or things like, um, I mean, the colors are just beautiful. This is one of my favorites. This is from Cochineal, what? which is, wow. yeah, this is a tiny little bug that grows on cacti. <laughs> they often produce in Mexico. Um, but so this is like the pinkest pink that you'll ever be able to, to find, to make. And it comes from this little bug that you crush up. Um, you, you were so in, the vegans so you don't. were down there, right? You were on this trip or something. You, you went there. Yeah. And so this is, yeah. And so this is, this is just with, this is like, a, this is an alkaline. These are two different. This is like a cotton, a cotton, and this is an animal fiber. And that's what's so cool. So animal fiber is like things like silk is silk silk wool those kinds of things pick up color better than plant fibers um so the stronger color is always going to be the the kind of animal fiber but this has like the purpley one has like has i has iron in it this is more of an alkaline this one i added acid to so like lime juice and it gets oh. this like cool new pink color so it's just like so many Crazy wow, ways of so this is, I've never seen this book. I, where, uh, wow. This is called Kutch, which is this sort of like, it's almost like a Brazil nut. And like, look at the color variation on just this one. And it's like, this is your painting or like your yeah. living room. <laughs> yeah. Maybe your living room or something. But this, like these two are the ones with iron in it. And this one is the one with acid. It just that changes it so much. So these colors are just, I don't know, they're, they're, this one is pretty cool too. This is also sort of like a, uh, it's called myrobalan and it's, look at how different, this is when you add, <laughs> when you add iron, it goes from yellow to like this crazy gray, wow. beautiful gray color. That, be that so, gray, gorgeous. Yeah. So I don't know. I just thought those would be some fun things to to share. But um, yeah, can you get those materials? I mean, like, what if someone wanted to die or wanted to? Can you yeah, get the well, cochin berry or that bug or yeah. how does that work? Well, this so like marigold is something that grows all over the place over here. If you look up, if you look up online, this would be a fun project to do. Maybe at home if you have extra time. Um, a really common natural dye I feel like for people that have never done it before is with onion skins you can look up onion skin recipes and it, it it has this cool like kind of yellowy color and you can you can look that up online it's super easy to make um other common things actually avocado pits like I have a 
freezer bag of avocado pits and avocado pits make this like really pretty kind of rose blush color that's another really common one and it's funny because you'd think things like beets or blackberries would make something you know like purple but those things actually just like wash out some people use like turmeric um there's a lot of common household sort of items you can use so um those are just some some fun ones but you can also definitely get more into it like black walnut is one that people use a lot oh i've heard that yeah yeah so you can particularly well, like, to where your bioregion is and and what you have just grown grown outside I just kind of a cool, cool like cool ivory thing. black is made with ivory i believe you know the, yeah i'm not yeah. sure about i've never tried or to make bone black bone black is another one that they use hmm. uses bones as part of it um 